Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a taking off my makeup routine video. This is what I do when I'm wearing makeup, it's the end of the day, ripping the lashes off and what I use to do so. Um, I try to do this every single time I do my makeup or I'm taking off my makeup, but sometimes, let's be real, I'm a makeup wipe and get in bed kind of girl, but this is what I'm trying to like really pamper myself and really take care of my skin. Um, so the first thing I use is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is really, really good. I um, use this when I don't want to use a makeup wipe and I really want to be gentle on my skin. And it's like a balm that goes to an oil and you rub it all over the skin. You can use it on your eyes and it really melts down all of the makeup. and takes everything off and then you rinse it off. And after everything's all melted down and you can see it looks pretty gross. But um, once all that's down, you rinse off with water and then you wash your face. So after I've rinsed off the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm with just water, I like to go in with a micellar water. This one that I'm going to use is by Lancome, and this just takes off anything like mascara or eyeliner or eyelash glue that was still under my eyes. That takes that all off, and then I still swipe it all over the face just because I feel like if I want to use a face cleanser, I want everything to be gone. That way it can really get into my skin and take everything out. I don't know, that's my logic to this. Um, but I really like micellar waters, especially if I use just a makeup wipe. I go in definitely at least once or twice with a cotton round in micellar water just to take everything off because you'll see once you start using it, after just using a makeup wipe, there is still so much makeup on your skin so you definitely wanna go in with a micellar water. After I've gone over my skin with a micellar water, I go in with the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And this is really gentle. This is my everyday face cleanser. It smells really good just when I want to wash my face without being too abrasive. And when I do want something deeper, I use the Ceramic Slip um, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser with my Clarisonic and that's just my really deep cleanse. And then after I've washed my face, I go in with the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is an eye cream. And you want to put it on your ring finger. That's the weakest finger on your hand, so it's really gentle on that area. And you want to press. You never want to rub on that area because who wants wrinkles? Not me. So you definitely want to press um, the moisturizer or the eye cream into your skin so that it really locks everything in. And you don't have to put it on the eyelid because the skin around your eye is really, really thin. So it just kind of travels everywhere. So I don't actually put it directly on my eyelid, just under. After eye cream, I use a facial mist. I use the Josie Mira Nirvana Hydrating Mist. This is really good. It has the argan oil in it that's really popular in her line. And I feel like this just really hydrates the skin and preps it for any moisturizers or anything that you're going to put on top. Um, and then right here is where I would do a face mask, any type of mask, um, really um, moisturizing, a poor one, whatever I feel like my skin needs. Um, this one that I would use is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding Mask. It's really good and it helps extract all the gunk from your skin so that's when I would do that and once I take the mask off I go in with a serum and the one I'm kissing is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Serum. It's a lot stronger and it's going to help kind of retexturize the skin and kind of pull impurities out and so that's more of a nighttime every other night one and then the true serum that I'm running out of sadly is the by Ula Henriksen True Serum and it has collagen in it and vitamin C so it's going to help tighten and brighten the skin. And this one's more my daily one in the morning when I'm putting makeup on or if it's a night where I'm not using the good jeans, that's what I put on. The next thing I do is decide which moisturizer I'm going to put on, which is why I looked to the side like that. Um, but this one I'm using is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. Um, this one's really cool. It pulls moisture from the air into your skin, so it keeps you hydrated throughout the day for up to 72 hours, which, I mean, if you're going to wash your face, then you're going to put it back on. But this one's really good. It pretty much melts into water into the skin, and it feels really good. It's really, really hydrating. Um, I use a lot of different moisturizers just depending on the way my skin is, but this one's is if I'm really dry and I really need a lot of moisture and I just put this all over the skin and I try to go upward motions, but I definitely forget, but you should. You should definitely go in upwards motions when you're putting moisturizer on, but here I am not doing that. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I go back in with the Josie Marin Nirvana Hydrating Mist. I feel like this just adds one more layer of moisture that I press into the skin and it kind of, I feel like it pushes in the moisturizer even more to your skin. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I feel like it does and it just feels really good. And why not? Why not use a facial spray, you know? And the last thing that I do is moisturize my lips. I use the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel thing. Um, <laughs> I think it's just the caramel flavor. Um, but I've actually been recently liking the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So that's, so that's really good too. Just whatever you want to use on your lips. Um, and that's it. I am done with my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!